in the 3D scanning group and 3D printing groups I'm in, the often the question often comes in: um, How do we work with a 3D mesh SDL file that is too big to convert to a solid? body um, and with limited software options uh, that are affordable um, this is my workflow um, using Th fusion 360 so uh, in my example i have 3d scanned uh, torque wrench and um, just to have some geometry and i'm going to show how I um, work and draw from this, um, how I pull out the geometry. Um, I tried different uh, YouTube tutorials. Um, none of them, all of them were fairly um, based on, um, fairly complex and based on uh, reverse engineering and so forth. Uh, in the end, I turned to chat GBT, where I just simply asked, can you recommend a workflow um, based on my model and what I would like to do? And it is especially this option one, use the mess section tool and create sketch profiles. Um, the, uh, Question section two, I ran into some um, the, the issues uh, since I'm very new in Fusion. Um, I've got a general knowledge on uh, Autodesk Inventor, but Fusion I only started using when I started using my 3D scanner. So um, I did ask um, it to, once I had uh, the mess section pane, how to um, work with uh, that uh, further. And in this video, I'm just more or less gonna run through these, uh, these steps. So first of all, you cannot open your SDL file the normal way. You have to import your SDL file, um, insert mess, insert an existing SDL, OBJ or 3MF file as a mesh. So when you insert your mesh, it will not have uh, any uh, dimensional units attached or any uh, way in the world it is. Um, uh, position uh, attached uh, to it. So uh, select your unit you'll be working in and then orientate it uh, so that it fits with um, your planes. Um, uh, I do import it roughly and then once I have it um, more or less where I would like to have it, I use the move tool to uh, where I then uh, fine adjust it. And this is a painful process. Uh, and it's not really necessary if you're gonna be drawing around your mesh file and using the geometry from it as it will be fixed. Uh, it just makes it easier for me in my head to be able to maneuver around uh, the 3D uh, sketch. Uh, I am going to spare you for this and hop over to this one that I have um, uh, um, moved and located so it's more or less where I would like it uh, on the planes. Uh, so next up I'm going to be working in this uh, mesh uh, tab. First of all, um, I would like to create some sketch geometry. I'm going to use create the mess section sketch uh, uh, tool. I'm going to select my body and I am going to select the plane I would like. In this case, uh, I would like to be working, uh, creating a, a sketch on this uh, geometry. You can insert a uh, offset uh, to it uh, if that's what you would like let's say uh, five millimeters and then at, um, uh, if you would like geometry somewhere else uh, on all the axes uh, but for now i'm just going to have it uh, straight more or less straight through the middle uh, boom 
now I just need to think. Uh, so uh, here I have my um, plane geometry, but this is still not something I can select to sketch with. Uh, so um, next up is um, finding your uh, mess section that's here and right clicking on the sketch saying edit sketch going into create uh, fit curves to mess section that is what we're going to do here and i am going to select my mess section and yeah i have a closed spline uh, there are also other options you can explore and okay so now i can turn that off and here i have sketch geometry now i'm just going to finish my sketch boom so now i have uh, sketch geometry and uh, for example this i can uh, extrude and make into a solid and work from it like that um, the, one question that also comes up is if you would like to use a specific section of um, the, the mesh to work with and here again 2d sketch uh, select the plane you would like to work from uh, and um, create uh, project the geometry that you now have boom that's it and let's say um, i would like to work with uh, this section here to add something uh, to it there we go. And now I can extrude uh, that section if I would like. Um, and now I have something I can start uh, building up on with the exact geometry from my mesh sketch uh yeah cool i hope this uh that helps uh helps you guys